Sean Gunn has been cast as Maxwell Lord in the DCU. This is from Deadline. So, yeah, so Sean Gunn will be playing Max, Mo Max Lord. Or Maxwell Lord, whatever. In, the, in James Gunn's DCU. Wow. This casting is... God. <laughs> really? Really? My God. Sean Gunn. He's already isn't he? He's already Weasel. Yes, Weasel can't talk. He's already GI Robot, which yeah, he could he could do the voice. And I heard that James Gunn's gonna transition transition those characters into live action. But now he's playing fucking Maxwell Lord. I'm sorry, this casting's garbage. Sean Gunn looks nothing like Maxwell Lord. I'm sorry. <laughs> My what? And didn't he play Counterman in the Suicide Squad? My goodness, this is one of the worst castings. I'm sorry. Did, did... <sighs> My goodness, James Gunn. He... Wow. I'm sorry. The dude's way too fucking skinny. Like, this guy's sk is skinny as fuck. <laughs> he looks like skinny as the rake. Skinny as f Oh my god. <laughs> Skinny as the rake. <laughs> Hell, I think Sean Gunn could play the rake in a creep pasta movie. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is technically a miscast. Oh, I'm s my goodness. I don't know. Maybe he has to gain. I'm sorry, but Maxwell Lord is not that. He's not that skinny. I mean, he's just normal, you know, kind of businessman build. And uh, and Pedro Pascal played Maxwell Lord in Wonder Woman 84 in the DCU. And I thought, and yeah, he was race swapped. Apparently, Pedro Pascal's Chilean. He you know, Caucasian American, but, uh, but yeah, but at least Pedro Pascal was great in the role. At least I find him believable as a businessman. I'm sorry, I do not find Sean Gunn. And also, I don't even know if he's gonna have normal hair or gonna put a wig on him. Which is ridiculous. Uh, this dude's way too fucking skinny. I'm sorry. Um, Max Lord's supposed to. I'm sorry, you gotta be kidding me. I, I could definitely see him as Calendar Man. I don't, I don't understand why dumbass Gunn could have brought him back as Calendar Man. I think that role, I think that fits him well. That would have made more fucking sense. But of course, this fucking world <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Like I said, no sense makes sense. <laughs> oh man, this world doesn't make any sense. This casting doesn't make any sense. This casting is fucking terrible. Absolute garbage. Sean Gunn. My goodness. I mean,. I'm sorry, he should have been, he should have just stayed as Calendar Man. Unless you're going to recast Calendar Man, I mean, I mean, depends who they cast as Batman. If they cast a 40 year old Batman, then, I mean, I don't even know why you have to recast Sean Gunn's Calendar Man. I mean, Sean Gunn's Calendar Man. If you're going to cast a 40 year old Batman. But if you're going to cast a 30 year old Batman, then I, I get that. But then again, there's another Batman villain named Dr. Fosters. I don't give a walk. And Alan too is like in his 50s. You couldn't cast someone who was in his 30s, that character, if, 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 if you were going to cast a 30-year-old Batman. Even though Alan Tudyk's in his 50s now. <laughs> yeah, whatever. The, the DCU cast age, casting age policy doesn't make any sense. But yes, but like I said, if you would cast a Batman in his 30s, then it would make sense if you cast Dr. Phosphorus in 30s. But then again, there's another problem. Guy Gardner, Guy Gardner, who's played by Nick Defense, is also in his fucking 50s. And this dude... God, Guy Gardner is like in the 30s. What the fuck, man? That's also another miscast. I'm sorry, Nathan Fillion. I like Nathan Fillion, but I don't know. He looks more like Hal Jordan or Alan Scott. Now, I did say he kind of played a dick character, but I don't know. Apparently, uh, by looking it back, Chris Pratt acts more like Guy Gardner. Nathan Fillion acts more like Hal Jordan. After watching that Gardner's Guys Run 3, I'm like, wait a minute. No, I take that back. Chris Pratt looks more like Guy Gardner ish than. And Chris. And Al. And. Nathan Fillion looks more, it's more Alan, Alan Scottish or Hal Jordan ish. But I think he's, he should definitely be Alan Scott for sure because Alan Scott's supposed to be sort of like the old Green Lan old JSA Green Lantern. Um, just like Jake Eric's Flash, but of course they're not gonna fucking do that shit. They're gonna have him play fucking Guy Garner. This makes James. And also, then James Gunn said that, oh, we're only gonna have one actor play one character, and that's it, no more twice. That makes James Gunn a fucking hypocrite. So as he's been a hypocrite. My goodness, man. And, and apparently they didn't say that in Maxwell Lord's name. Apparently they don't know if he's going to be Superman Legacy, but they did say that he'll most likely be mentioned. Oh my god, why you gotta put... 
Maxwell Lord does not need to be super mixed. I'm sorry, no. Maxwell Lord's a Wonder Woman villain, and yes, he did kill uh, Blue Beetle's head core, but really, Sean Gunn is Maxwell Lord. Like, you couldn't cast someone like. I, I know that's never gonna happen. You're not gonna, you, you can't cast someone like Tom Cruise or Matthew McConaughey or uh, what's his name? Or Bill Skarsgård? I mean, look, I mean, Bill Skarsgård and John Wick for. Yeah, I could, I could actually take. I could actually. I would actually take that. Uh, uh, and Bill Skarsgård um, um, auditioned to play Lex Luthor. Or Alexander Skarsgård. I think that would have been a great Alexander Skarsgård as a. Uh, uh, freaking, uh, what's his face? Uh, Maxwell Lord. I think that would have been great. Who else? Who else could have been Maxwell Lord? Yeah. Yeah, but Sean Gunn is Maxwell Lord. I'm sorry, no. Bill Skarsgård played like an evil businessman in John Wick 4. And, uh, so, yeah, I could I could see him as... I could see him as Max Lord if you were. Yeah, I, uh, freaking, um... Uh, yeah, and, yeah, Alexander Skarsgård, I believe he also plays a business in Exo Session. And yeah, he would, and these two were going to be Luke Thor. I feel like one of these two could have been if they lost to Luke. Apparently, Nicholas Holmes in talks to play Lex Luthor. He's not confirming yet. I'm just waiting until they confirm it. Just like Peter Pascal, who's also in talks to play Reed Richards. So I'm waiting that for, to have to be confirmed. So, yeah, so. <laughs> um, so, yeah, those are like the two castings I'm waiting for to be confirmed. We have a Superman Legacy casting, man. Oh, Jesus, man. We do not need Maxwell Lord Super Legacy. I'm sorry. No, that's too many fucking characters. Can you please just focus on freaking... Oh, and apparently there's a rumor that Supergirl's going to be Super Legacy. Like, are you... I mean, yeah, that's Superman Legacy character, but that's not something you shouldn't choose right now. That's something you should choose maybe in, the, maybe in a sequel. And plus, you're getting, you're having, you're having a movie, Superman, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. So, yeah, no. I'm sorry, no. I mean, that's the only Superman Legacy character that should have in this movie. And guess what? You know, should also not be this movie. The, this fucking Fortress League. Now, at first, I was actually okay with it. I was actually alright. I was actually alright. I was actually okay. Okay with it. But now I'm like, no. No, you know what? No. Mr. Terrific. More like Mr. Mr. Whatever Rific. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. No. It's just, or more like Mr. Relevant Rific. There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Mr. Terrific just irrelevant as fuck. I'm sorry, really? Really? Like, like I like the casting, but why? But why Super Legacy? Like, why? Why? And then we have his Hawkgirl, which... Why Superman Legacy for Hawkgirl? Like, why? I mean, I get that this is a sure universe and all that. Sure, you can have, like, few... But, oh, wow, my God. I'm hoping this is just, like... Like I said, I... I, I was... I was hoping this this would be like just a oh see a thirty a, a ten second cameo or a fifteen second cameo at least or hell a five second cameo but I heard that they're not they're, it's not gonna be a cameo they're actually gonna be are you fucking serious are you are you really gonna overshadow Superman in his own fucking movie my goodness or they like call this Justice League Legacy this is fucking garbage and also Isabella Mercedes Hawk Girl like I could I mean I don't I'm kind of mixed about it because I could. It's because of her age. Yeah, she's like in her early 20s. And you have a super... And Hawkgirl's not even that young. She's actually old. I'm sure maybe you should have... Maybe called her Hawkwoman instead of Hawkgirl. But I don't know. I mean... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, Hawkgirl... You could have cast someone who... You could have cast someone like Issa Gonzalez to play Hawkgirl. I think that would have been a good... I think that would have been a way better casting than Silver said. And look... Yeah, I could see Issa in the world, but I feel like she's too young. Maybe 10 years... Maybe 10 years later, absolutely, but... Eh, I don't know. Yeah, you have a young hawk girl, and you have an old-ass lantern that's, like, in his fucking 50s, and a young hawk girl in, like, her early 20s. Oh, my goodness, that is fucking... God. Oh, and then the cast for Metamorpho. Yeah, he's alright. Um, I forgot, the guy that plays Victor's ass in Gotham, Anthony Kerrigan. Yeah, he's alright, as Victor's ass, but... I mean, Victor says he, he's a perfect, he, he perfect for Mr. Metamorpho, but who the fuck asked for Metamorpho and Super Legacy? Like, come on. Come on now. Stop it. Who the fuck asked for Metamorpho? Another relevant ass superhero. He's basically Clayface plus Sam, plus fucking Sandman. <laughs> he, he's basically Clayface Sandman. Uh, love Child. <laughs> and then Mr. Terrific's basically uh, fucking Blue Marble. 
Oh, Marvel and Reed Richards. <laughs> fucking Reed Richards' baby in there. Of course, yeah, fucking. Eh, yeah. My goodness. Enough of these fucking superheroes already. Stop it. This is Superman. Luke, this is Superman Legacy, not Justice League Legacy, okay? We're here to count Superman. We're here to see the Superman stories. Stop it, God. Stop it. My goodness. Enough adding to these superheroes. Enough adding to these other villains that are not Superman. I'm actually okay with Lobo being this movie because he's a fucking Superman. And yes, there's rumors about Jason Todd. Jason Bob, but again, he's in talks. He's in talks. I guess they're not going to confirm it after Aquaman 2 gets released. Probably. Or maybe the next month they'll confirm Jason Bob's going to be Lobo. So yeah, but overall, let me see. Yeah, he got Jason Bob's Lobo. Yeah, he got Nick Lobo's a Quaker. Yeah, but they, they have not confirmed the main villains, but apparently the rumor that the main villains can be Brainiac. Yeah, which is okay. I mean, confirm it. Just fucking confirm it already, goddammit. I mean, we don't have to, we don't have to cast an actor yet. Just confirm it so that way we can stop speculating who the main villain is. Oh, and of course they add another character to the legacy, the Authority. Man, I don't know if that's a good idea, adding another. <laughs> oh my god, and then you have another superhero to the Authority. I mean, I get that you're trying to promote, uh, fucking Authority. Oh my god. Authority. So that way you can do some before the movie, but I don't think that's a good idea. This is a Superman movie, not an authority. I mean, uh, I don't know. Yeah, you got some actress cast as the uh, engineer. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see other authority characters. Maybe we'll see that Midnighter guy or that Apollo guy. Or the Grifter guy. The Grifter, he was also part of that team. Uh, the, the authority. Eh, let's see. I don't know. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> now you have another team, the authority. Two team problems, James Gunn. Two team problems. Oh my god. Nobody asked for the just for a fucking uh fucking Justice League B list or C list characters appearing as fucking B. Maybe as cameos. But come on now. I, I don't think it was a good idea to cast them first. I, I mean cast them before fucking legs. Fucking Jimmy Olsen, Perry White, and all that. All the other characters. Oh um, my goodness. Oh, and then you got fucking Jimmy Olsen as cast got recently as Jimmy Olsen. I think that's great casting. I could definitely see him as Jimmy Olsen. So, yeah, I think that's great casting. My goodness, man. Now we're back to casting. <laughs> now we're back to casting. But yeah, but, yeah, but Sean Gunn as Lex Luthor. No, Lex Luthor, I mean. Maxwell Lord, garbage casting. They should have cast someone. They should have cast someone who looked like a business man. He's, Maxwell Lord's supposed to be the. He's kind of like, sort of like, Marvel's version of Norman Osborn. They couldn't cast such. They could have cast someone like that caliber. He's basically Marvel's Norman Osborn. He's basically another Lex Luthor. <laughs> He's basically another evil business man. I'm sorry. I, I just... No. No. Sean Gunn should have just taken Caliber Man. Caliber Man. I don't know. Unless they're going to recast the character. Or maybe they're not. Maybe fucking Gunn's a favoritist. I mean, maybe Gunn wants to please his brother. My goodness, man. James Gunn. Yeah, maybe he'll have Sean Gunn also play Caliber Man. Great. Now he has four roles. And James will be like, yeah, I freaking, what's his name, Weasel, he'll talk, he can't talk, and then, uh, G.I. Robot, he's a boys, he's a boys, he's a rope. he's a boys, okay, oh, he's, actually, well, yeah, he's physical, just with different hair, just with hair, and, you know, that bull tie suit and all that, calendar man, oh, he's bald, he's, he looks different, he, how the fuck is he gonna look different, <laughs> from actual Lord, when they're both, they both have the same face, the face look, oh, my god, but yeah, but Sean Gunn is an actual Lord, no, garbage casting. My goodness, man. That is garbage. Nathan Fillion as Guy Garner is also miscast. I'm sorry. No. He is how He looks more like Hal Jordan uh, than fucking Guy... Or Alan Scott than Guy Gardner. That's a fucking miscast, though. He's a little says too young to be Hawkgirl. Even though she'd be a good choice for a 20-year-old Hawkgirl. But you have a Superman since the 30s. Hawkgirl should not be that fucking young. Especially... Especially with, if you're going to keep all this hot as Hawkgirl. So, I mean, it's fucking mid... Mid thirties. Um, obviously, we, uh, obviously, you're just gonna make Hawk Girl like a bad girl, or Super Girl, next, and then you're gonna make Hawkman like the bad or Super, like a sidekick instead of like a love interest. Which they're basically all oh, Hawkman, Hawk Girl, basically love interest. So, I'm sorry, uh, that would be fucking weird seeing. This is the one all this hot shit. Uh, no, no, oh god. Obviously, they're a team and they're sidekick. Yeah, but. Goodness, man, this cast is just. Where the fuck is Paul and Ma Kent? Where the fuck is Jorel and Lara? And I heard that Kurt Russell's. <laughs> Apparently, Kurt Russell responded to a Jorel casting saying that, hey man, I'll take Marlon Brando. 
I mean, he has cool, just, com just confirmed that he's gonna be Jarrell, whatever. Or probably gonna catch Jarrell name. Where the fuck is Perry White? Where the fuck is Perry White? Like, who the fuck asked for the other characters? No one. No one asked for the shitty other characters to show up in Superman Legacy. This is a Superman movie. We get that since the cinematic universe, the best we have to do is fucking everybody. Like, stop it. You're just, you're just messing up. You're, people, you're, make, you're, you're making people think that this is a fucking Justice League movie. This is a Superman movie, not a Justice League movie. For fuck's sake, stop it. Stop it, gun. Jeez, just confirm who the main villain is. Is it Brainiac? Is it Robo? My goodness. James Gunn, man. Come on, man. Don't be... Dude, you're like the Tony Khan. You're like the Tony Khan of the DCU. I'm sorry. <laughs> he said that. I'll admit it. Uh, I mean, you know TK sucks, but you, Mr. Gunn, you're, you're mid. James Gunn, you're mid. The reason why you're mid is because you got rid of Henry Cavill. You literally piss off DC fans. You piss myself off it. But you know what? I'll, st I'll still give you... I'll still give you another chance, though. Like, but of course, you're, you know, this is a soft reboot DC where every actor's getting recast, but some actors will stay, most likely your actors, the actors that you work with. So yeah, not, and I used to love James Gunn, man. I used to love James Gunn a lot. So yeah, I mean, I like the Guardians Galaxy trilogy. So yeah, Suicide Squad and Peacemaker were, were great. <sighs> and now... And yes, apparently John Cena will stay Peacemaker, Sean Martin will stay Blue Beetle, Freddy Strong will be Vigilante, and I forgot what the name, Viola, Viola Davis will be Adam as well. I mean, cool, but, but, favoritism at its finest. Favoritism at its finest. <laughs> My goodness. Favoritism at its finest. Favoritism, nepotism at its finest. Look, man, I, I want this Superman movie to succeed. I want this to be the great Superman movie. This shit better be just a zero second. <laughs> or a 5, 10 to 15 second. Maybe 20 second. 25, 30 second cameo. At least. I don't care seeing Hawker. I do not care seeing Mr. Irrelevant. A.K.A. Mr. Terrific. <laughs> um, <laughs> Mr. Re oh my god, I'm freaking meta metamorpho or fucking Green Lantern guy, Connor. Whatever, stop it. And I do not care seeing Maxwell Lord. We already have Lex Luthor already. We already have Lex Luthor. Why the fuck do we need Maxwell Lord? Now apparently he's gonna be mentioned. Okay, fine. Yeah, sure, you can mention him. It's okay. But do not put him in the fucking movie. You don't need his You don't need his dumb ass <laughs> in the fucking movie. Maxwell Maxwell Lord is Lex Luthor to Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Superman has Lex Luthor. Wonder Woman has Maxwell Lord. You don't, you don't need to, Adam. I get that Max Lord up in Supergirl, but come on, no. But that doesn't mean he should be in Superman Legacy. No, no. I believe you. He also appeared in Small Bill. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but Petra Pascal was a way better, was a way better cast than this, than this, oh, gosh, Sean Gunn, no. Stop it. Look, man. Look, man, Sean Gunn, he's cool and all, but not good as Max Lord. Good as Kellerman, absolutely. You couldn't, you couldn't bring back his calendar. But then again, if you also bring back his calendar, also favoritism at his finest. <laughs> Got rid of Henry Cavill, though. And also, the rest of the, uh, the, the other recast is Justice League, which I'm glad you recast Ezra Miller. Thank God. Yeah, apparently, um, like two months ago, they confirmed that the Justice League casting are returning. The good news is, at least, thank God that shitty Ezra Miller's not coming back as Flash. Thank God Cryborg's not coming back. Oh, thank God. Ray, oh my God, Cryborg. He is the cry back. He is the right back of the, of the fucking of the fucking comic book comic book community comic movie community. Ray Fisher is the right is the right back. My goodness, man! Is the right back cry back cry more than cry back? Like they both like this nigga's like, oh can oh can oh Walter Armada, I want an apology. Nigga, what the fuck do you need an apology for? You don't need no shitty apology. You don't need no apology. You don't deserve an apology. Shut your apology ass up, you son of a bitch. And as for Miller, I'm glad that Ray Fisk Miller, <laughs> Richard Ramirez Miller, is not coming back to Flash. Thank God. Get his ass out of here. And yes, I know Gal Gadot's one of his. 
and we all know Henry Cavill. Ben Affleck. Henry Cavill David. Has been recast with David Corson. Ben Affleck's obviously gonna get recast. Ben Affleck is confirmed to be recast, and then um, Gal Gadot will be recast apparently. So, so yeah, to be honest, I don't. I guess it makes sense because, because I'm sorry, it will not. I'm sorry, but the third year Wonder Woman, Gal Gadot's about to be in her forties. <laughs> uh, when when uh, whenever the DCU start, I'm sorry, I don't think that'll be a good look. So, so it makes sense for them to cast Wonder Woman. Recasting one woman, so yeah, but anyways, so yeah, and yeah, Supergirl is gonna be is rumored to be super legacy, apparently, not gonna be Sasha Kaye, so yeah, so hopefully, it's someone that's that's I'm gonna say that's white, hopefully, it's someone that looks like the character, at least either, either she's white or looks like the character, but hey, if it's another race open gun, holy shit, you just took it way fucking worse. <laughs> Way worse. But I don't know, but let's see man, let's see. But Sean Gunn is Max Lord. It's an L casting, garbage casting, I'm sorry. Garbage as fuck. <laughs> My god. Really? Oh another actor that could be Max Lord. And apparently you worked with him, James Conn. Lee Pace. Lee Pace would have been a pearl. Oh my god, I could definitely see Lee Pace would have been a great Max Lord. I could he played one of the accuser. Yeah, he could he could have been Max Lord. But no, apparently cast fucking Sean Gunn. Are you fucking serious? You mean you mean tell me I'm supposed to take this guy seriously as Max Lord? Oh god, skinny ass. <laughs> Dude, isn't isn't Sean Gunn like five? Apparently they say they see six foot tall, but I don't know. Sean Gunn looks five eleven, five ten. And apparently they say that James Gunn is six feet tall. James Gunn isn't that tall. He looks five eleven or five ten at best. <laughs> Oh god, but the Gun Brothers are like the Gun Brothers, not the Gun Brothers from AEW. Um, James Gunn and Sean Gunn look five ten or five five eleven at best. They don't look six feet tall. But anyways, yeah, man. But this is Gunn's. Not I don't know if this is his first L or his second L because I think Nathan Fillion. I think Nathan Fillion is Nathan Fillion is the first L casting. This is the second L casting. At first, I thought Nathan Fillion was great. Now I'm thinking about no, no garbage. I'm sorry. No, 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 Nathan Fillion is the first out casting, Sean Gunn's the second out casting, out casting, Isabella Mercedes as Hawkgirl is, is, uh, is mid casting, <laughs> she's not ready to be Hawkgirl, especially if she's, she's Spider Girl now, how, it's weird, how the hell do you go from Spider Girl to, to Hawkgirl in like, in like two, like, like a year, that doesn't make any sense. That's like going from bad girl to wonder, bad girl to wonder woman. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. It was Sean Gunn as Maxwell Lord. Oh boy. <laughs> so this is the guy that's gonna kill Blue Beetle Ted Cord. Are you fucking kidding me? Ted Cord will easily beat the bitch. Basically, knock him out. Wonder Woman will easily. Now Wonder Woman decapitated Max Lord, I believe. Like, like killed him. Wonder Woman will easily kill this motherfucker. So, yeah. But overall, this is a Superman movie gun, not a Justice movie. Stop it. Focus on Paul Kent, Ma Kent, Jor El, Lara, whoever's gonna be the main villain. Brainiac, Lobo, whatever. Confirm who's the main villain already. And yeah, that's that. And I have a feeling that he's probably gonna put more authority characters in there because come on, there's no way that this just shitty engineer appears. There's probably gonna be a lot of characters. So yeah. But anyways, what else? That's that. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And yeah, see you guys. Peace. That's all. That's all.